up friends welcome back to my channel i hope you all are doing well i got more victoria beckham beauty reviews for you guys today today we are chatting about the newest additions to the satin kajal liner lineup this is her collection for summer 2023 i have swatches for you guys i have a demo of every single shade so if you want to hear my thoughts and see what these look like on the eyes then keep watching all right party people let's dive in don't forget to give this video a thumbs up i will be linking where you can buy these liners in the description box down below i do use affiliate links so shopping through my links is a great way to support my channel and if you are new here welcome welcome my name is sophia and i am a complete luxury beauty addict and i upload new reviews every single week so if that is your jam hit the subscribe button to join our fam and without further ado let's chat about these new liners from victoria beckham beauty if you're not familiar with the satin kajal liners she actually has these in what is a pretty wide range of shades now i own every single one i will link down below some other reviews if you want to see the other shades swatched and demoed i'm a pretty big fan of these on the website these are described as a highly pigmented ultra creamy pencil with waterproof wear that lasts all day if you're not familiar with these you do get a little smudgy on one end of the pencil and then on the other end you get the satin kajal liner now these say that they're waterproof and they last all day i do think they have decent longevity but i wouldn't say they are necessarily waterproof they don't lock and load as much as like an urban decay 24 7 pencil or the chanel waterproof pencils or the makeup by mario pencils or the new dior long lasting waterproof pencils those are a little bit more lock and load but what you get from this formula is that it's super creamy it's super blendable it glides across the eye. It's very gentle. I have a lot of subscribers that have more mature skin. They don't want to be tugging at their eyes. And they really like the fact that these are super creamy and effortless to apply. I'm a big fan of these. And I always go to these specifically for that creamy and blendable formula. And I like the fact that it includes the little smudger on the end. Because that's usually what I'm using to blend it out. You guys will see in the demo in just a second. Let me show you guys the new shades that are a part of this lineup. So in order here i have cherry blossom this is described as a vivid magenta pink then we have electric blueberry and ultramarine blue and then finally we have the one that i think you guys are the most curious about this is called sour apple and this is described as a bright and grassy green these are without a doubt the brightest and most vibrant satin casual liners that we've received from Victoria Beckham Beauty. So I think a lot of you guys were very curious about these and whether or not they are actually wearable. So let's dive into the demo so that I can show you guys how I wore these on my eyes. And then finally, I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. And before we get into it, friends, I did forget to mention that this collection was gifted to me by Victoria Beckham Beauty. This is by no means sponsored, but this was a gifted product. I wanna thank Victoria Beckham Beauty for supporting my relatively very, very small YouTube channel and giving me the opportunity to make these shopping guides for you all so that you can see what these look like on the eyes. So hopefully this video is helpful. And I just wanted to thank Victoria Beckham Beauty for gifting me this collection. Let's start off with the shade Cherry Blossom. This is that vivid magenta pink. This one out of the three is arguably the most traditionally wearable because it's not quite as neon. And I think a lot of you all out there are pretty comfortable already wearing pink shades on your eye. For this look, I did just a very traditional top liner winged out look just to kind of get a feel for this formula i feel like especially with clean beauty or any kind of bright shades i'm always just kind of a little bit skeptical on whether or not i'm gonna get something that's true to color but you know what friends i do feel like these liners they give you that bright saturated color in just one swipe what i will say is that if you want it to be a little bit more true to color and more pigmented i would probably wait maybe like 60 seconds or so before you start blending it out if you just start blending these eyeliners out as soon as you put them on they are going to blend away a little bit so you have some options here you can layer it on blend it out a little bit to get a diffused effect and then you can always layer more color on top of it that's what i tend to do because i like a little bit more of a softer gradient but absolutely friends you can apply these in more of a graphic way i would just recommend that you wait about a minute or so before blending it so you allow it to set on the eye and then that way the color is going to be a little bit more true to what you get from a swatch you'll probably notice also friends with each of these looks i like to start with a very neutral base when it comes to these i think having a nice blank canvas and allowing the eyeliners to really shine like allow these colors to be the star of the show 
that's my favorite way of wearing it. And I also feel like it's the best way to keep the look very clean and fresh for summer. I don't want too many colors on my eyes when I'm going in with these neon shades. And friends, this is the look that I did with Cherry Blossom. I thought that this was so sweet. It was just a fun little pop of pink, but once again, the Cherry Blossom shade it is not that neon, so it makes it a little bit more wearable. And I think that if you have a deeper skin tone as well, this will probably pop on you a little bit more than it did on me. I'm obviously very fair, so it blends in a little bit more, but I still thought it was a really fun and also kind of work appropriate way to wear color or wear colored eyeliner on the eyes. Next up, we have Electric Blueberry. This is that bright, almost neon blue. Oh, I love this. It's like that bright cerulean type of shade. With this, I did more of a pop of color in the outer V of the eye. In the pink look, I didn't do really anything on the lower lash line, but here I wanted to kind of keep it towards the outer part of the eye to kind of really open everything up, but also provide that really fun kind of graphic pop of color. Once again, I feel like the pigmentation here is really good. And you might also notice here, I like to wear a white base. Here I'm wearing the Lisa Eldridge Liquid Lurks Shadow in the shade Cressida. I think that's like one of the most perfect colors that you can wear with these because it's got that shimmery, pearly type of look to it. But the Silk Palette, from Victoria Beckham Beauty is also a good option. I've also been testing these out with that as well. I think that Electric Blueberry might be my favorite one. I just really like blue eyeliner. I feel like blue eyeshadow is a little hard for me to work with sometimes. So going in with an eyeliner is kind of a less intimidating way for me to wear blue on the eyes. And I like the fact that this is so bright. It keeps the look very fresh. It doesn't make my eyes look sort of tired or heavy. So comment down below and let me know what you think of this look with Electric Blueberry. Finally, friends, the color that I'm wearing on my eyes today, this is Sour Apple. So many of you have asked me, what do you think of the green one, Sophia? Because this is the one that's kind of like, we don't really know if it's going to look good on our eyes. So I wanted to show you guys right off the bat, before I put on any mascara, I wanted to show you what it looked like with just a little bit of this color on the upper lash line. If you just wanted to do a very simple little green line in the center of the eye, you could have that little pop of color. You don't have to do a wing or anything. You could pop that on with a little bit of shimmery pearly shadow or something nude, and it would look really cool on the eyes. But I wanted to do something a little bit extra with Sour Apple to really show you what this color looks like if you did something bolder. So what I did is I actually winged it out and I applied it along the upper lid as well. Because these are so creamy, you can kind of use them as eyeshadow sticks, something that's maybe a little bit more precise. They're not gonna be as chunky as the Victoria Beckham eyeshadow sticks, but they're equally as blendable. You can totally do that. You can layer shadow on top of these and use these as a base if you wanted to create more longevity. So here what I did is I just blended it out into a winged shape, just very patiently kind of blending it, blending it, blending it while leaving a little bit of negative space in the center of the eye and in the inner corner. And then what I did is I took the Victoria Beckham eyeshadow stick in the shade Oyster and I applied this to the inner corner, a little bit on the lower lash line and also towards the center of the eye. This is my favorite eyeshadow stick to wear with these eyeliners because it's kind of like that perfect topper shade that just kind of ties the liner in with the rest of the look. It provides some freshness. If you guys are picking up any of these bright liners and you've been wanting to try the eyeshadow sticks, I would recommend this combination. And this is the final look with Sour Apple. I kept it pretty light. Once again, I could grab an eyeshadow palette that had like some matte browns or even some matte greens and I could layer that up to create a little bit more depth in the eye. But this is like a summer collection so I wanted something a little bit light and fresh and kind of what Victoria Beckham was going for with this collection. So comment down below, let me know what you think of Sour Apple. I also think Sour Apple looks really, really good on brown eyes. I love this contrast. So comment down below and let me know what you think of this shade. Do you think it's kind of weird? Do you think it's a little much for you? Or do you think it's a really fun summertime look? All right, friends, I hope that all of this has been helpful so far. I did just want to share some final thoughts about these liners. If you couldn't tell, I actually really like these. I think that she totally nailed these shades. You can never be too sure. You know, sometimes I have in my head, oh yeah, I'm gonna do like a bright graphic pink liner and then I put it on and it makes me look like I have pink eye or I put on a green and it gets super 
poopy and weird and I just don't really enjoy it but I actually really like these I think they pop on the eye really nicely the color is very saturated I did do all day wear tests with all of these shades and I felt like they have pretty good longevity once again the longevity with these it's not going to be as much as like a less creamy formula like the Chanel waterproof for example but I still think that these have pretty good longevity and I like the fact that they are just so colorful and saturated. I do like the fact that Victoria Beckham launched something a little bit more colorful in her line because the rest of the Victoria Beckham Beauty products do tend to lean very neutral. So this is something new from the brand. I think that it's super easy to pair these with other products from the brand. Like I was saying before, my favorite way to wear these is in a way that leaves a little bit of negative space so you can fill that negative space with one of her eyeshadow sticks. Like I said, I like the oyster shade the best for these. I think it makes a really great pairing, but like one of the lid lusters in the center would be really nice. The eyeshadow palette in the shade Silk that has those really like bright, soft, pearly shades, I think that's a great companion to these as well. If you are not used to these brighter colors, my recommendation would be just start off simple because you don't need a lot to create a cool, fun look with these. You could do a teeny little baby wing of one of these and it would look really interesting and you probably, people would notice and they would give you comments. You could do just a little bit here on the center upper lash line so that when you blink, you get a little bit of, of that flash of color. I think that that's super fun. You don't have to do a big look like this, but I do like the option of using these almost like an eyeshadow stick. But yeah, friends, my, my recommendation is do something that leaves a little bit of negative space so that the color of each of these shades can really shine and it still opens up the eye. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but that's my recommendation if you're kind of going for that Victoria Beckham beauty, very like clean girl, simple, elegant type of makeup style. Like I said before, I think that Electric Blueberry is my favorite shade out of the three. I don't know why, I just like how bright and fresh and like summertime cerulean it looks. I don't think that any of these shades really look like any of the ones from the existing lineup. I did wanna show you guys a quick comparison between Electric Blueberry and then Surfside. This is the shade that she launched, I don't know, maybe a month or two ago for the summer as well. It is more of like a marine blue, it's deeper, and then Electric Blueberry is a little bit brighter. So that was the only comparison that I could think of, friends. Comment down below if there are any more comparisons that you wanna see, and I can post those to my Instagram to be a little bit more helpful. And yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. Really, really like this release, loved all of the shades. Comment down below and let me know if you picked any of these up. Do you think you're gonna be getting any of them? And also let me know which shade you liked the best on me. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.